everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Mademoiselle Lena, and you can find me online at www.conjurenits.com. Today, we are here to do the Virgo Terrascope for May 2021, and we are going to be using the Heart of Fairy Oracle by Brian and Wendy Froud. Before we get started, I would like to say thank you for viewing my video, and if you haven't already done so, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and click on the little bell so that you'll receive notifications of when I go live or upload new videos. I do try to stay pretty busy here on my channel. Every month, I do all 12 zodiac signs for the monthly Terrascope. On a daily basis, I have a card of the day reveal. On Sundays, we do Conjure Crew with myself, Mambo Tanya, and the Black Bonnet Witch. On Mondays, I upload the weekly forecast. On Wednesdays, we have a virtual book club. We are currently reading Enchantment of the Fairy Realm by Ted Andrews. And let me tell you, we have learned a lot of amazing things about these fantastic little creatures. So you're really going to want to join us for that. It's so much fun. I also pop on sometimes and do free mini readings. And I do pop on from time to time and do Pippa time, which is basically where I take my little dog for a walk and talk about random stuff. So, like I was saying, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, click on the little bell, and make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up. Also, I would like to say that I really enjoy reading all of your comments, so thank you so much for the comments that you have been leaving. I try to answer and respond to each and every one. All right, I know, I know. I have rambled on long enough. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Card number one. What is the challenge for this month? And we have... The Elven Knight. This is about enchantment, the call of fairy, leadership. The elven knight summons us to heed the call of fairy. This is the male energy that can draw you deeper into the world beyond our own. Much of the energy in fairy is female, but there is a true balance of male energy there as well. The elven knight, the consort of the queen, can rule equally in this land. Proud and powerful, he rides through this domain, leading the fairies in a procession that can take them from their world into ours and back again. The trooping of the fairies is dangerous to witness, but the lure of it is almost irresistible, and we wish nothing more than to follow the call of the elven knight deep into his realm. The danger is that, once we have followed in the wake of the troop, we will not want or even be able to return to our own world, and will instead be lost forever in the land of fairy. Hmm, we must be aware of what our heart is yearning for. Is it something we can have? Is it a hopeless yearning for something unattainable, or something unwise for us to pursue. Hmm. The Elven Knight is a driving force in our life, a need to accomplish something difficult but possible. The energy of the Elven Knight is a powerful motivator to go ahead, leading the way and taking others with us on our path. Card number two. What positive energies can I embrace this month? And we have... The Bright Spark. This is about understanding, illumination, a bright idea. 
A little flash of inspiration or a bright spark is sometimes needed because it can be so difficult to figure out what is really going on. Life is a total mystery. People who are close to you seem to be speaking in a foreign language. You just can't understand how they could possibly do or say the things they do. You need a key. You need that little bit of brightness to illuminate the miasma of confusion surrounding you. Let the bright spark light up your life. It's only a flicker, but it is just enough to let you glimpse the direction you should take when trying to understand a seemingly incomprehensible situation. So often it only takes a tiny amount of understanding to turn a situation around. And once you can see the way ahead, you can help others to understand as well. Only one person needs to have a spark of inspiration in any given situation. Why not let it be you? Card number three. What negative energies do I need to negotiate this month? And we have... Ooh, the crone. Now this is about looking again. It's a wise woman. You know, like knowing direction, having direction. The crone, scary, isn't she? She is that wicked witch in the fairy tales. The one who eats children and curses princesses. A monster? Sometimes. Now look at the rest of the picture. A pearl of wisdom is easy to spot. But look at it upside down. Now what do you see? See what else is she? She is a wise woman, a healer, and a teacher. When you meet her in fairy, be aware of those two faces and look beyond her frightening aspect. Listen to what she has to tell you. She knows about life and she knows about love. She knows how treacherous they can be. And she also knows how to put you back on the right path when you are wandering, lost in the dark forest of a relationship. She is a part of that darkness. But she is also a beacon of light when you need one. All you have to do is be brave enough to greet her politely. Help her if she asks for help. You know this part. It's a test for you. But then listen to her advice. If you are careful, if you show enough respect, you may give her pearl of wisdom and not turn you into a toad. Card number four. What do I need to make time for this month? And we have... The returning. This is about profound change. A new perspective. Understanding. What is the returning? Is it the end? Hardly. There is no end in fairy. Where has this fairy been? What has she seen and what has she brought back with her? A pearl of wisdom? A unicorn horn? What tells will she tell you? The paths you follow flow into each other and an end of one path is the beginning of another as you journey deeper into the heart of the realm. The returning is coming home. Coming back to a place that is no longer only where you started from, but somewhere much more profound. You can't return and expect things to have remained the same while you were away. Everything shifts and changes, moving on and metamorphosizing into something new. Think about what it is that you really wish to change in your life. As you sit with the returning before you, 
visualize what would happen if you just walked out of the room for a moment and on upon turn returning found that your understanding of a present situation had changed in a profound way. What would it take to make that change happen? What could you do? How would you need to feel to shift your perspective? Sometimes, by taking a moment to return to where you are now, you will be able to see the moment with greater clarity and insight and the next step in your ongoing journey will become clearer as well. Card number five. What opportunity should I seize this month? And we have... Hmm. Okay. Well, we got the juggler. This is about scattered attention. Reassessment. Priorities. Well, just look at him. He can balance at least two things on his fingers while running along from one important place to another. He's a very together sort of fairy, even though he does leave a trail of unconnected thought wherever he goes. Busily going about his business with one eye always on you, just to make sure that you are following along behind him. Have you even asked where he's leading you? I thought not, but it might be a good thing to do. He loves surprises, and he is certainly going to surprise you if you don't keep your wits about you. You may like it, but then again, you may not. When you meet the juggler, just slow down and take a look at where you're going. You may be doing lots of things at the same time, and you may be very good at all of them, but just be sure you can see where you are going with all of these projects. Perhaps you are balancing the attention of too many people at the same time. If you scatter your thoughts and attentions wherever you go, you may end up running in circles and not giving anything or anyone the attention that they deserve. Okay, my lovely Virgos, let's go ahead and take a look at the bigger picture here. For card number one, what is the challenge for this month? And we got the Elven Knight. So, I really feel like it's going to be a challenge for you not to slip into the, um, slip into the line. You know, the tripping of the fairies. There's a lot of things going on on social media. People are saying things about other people and, and it's always something. Somebody's always saying something. Don't slip into that groove. Don't jump on that bandwagon until you have all the facts and are able to form your own opinion. What I'm saying is, please don't take someone else's word as fact. You know, it. do your own checking around. He said, she said bullshit out there all the time. People are ganging up on other people and it's just one big fluster fuck. And I, and I really just, you know, I don't want you to get caught up in that mess. So, fact check and form your own opinion. Do not jump on a bandwagon. You are better than that, okay? So, I do feel like that will be a challenge for you this month. Because, I mean, it's very prevalent in, in, in the social media world. You're going to see it. Just be careful not to just fall in with everyone else. Form your own opinion dig get the facts all right and then card number two what positive energies can i embrace this month well and we got the bright spark and this kind of falls back into getting your facts straight forming your own opinion when you see that bright spark that's your aha moment like ah oh, the truth i get it now okay so really embrace that 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 aha moment because it's there. It's the light at the end of the tunnel. It's truth. It's purity. And I and I I'm, I'm just 
I can't say it enough. I can't stress it enough not to jump on the bandwagon because people get hurt. Okay, you, people lose friends. We distance ourselves from family members, whatever the case may be. But I really don't want to see that happening. All right, uh, card number three. What negative energies do I need to negotiate this month? This kind of goes back into all of this too. You're a very wise person. You really are. Okay, so so get your facts first. Know the truth. Don't just jump on that bandwagon. Because if, if you do, then people will see you as the monster, not as the wise person that you are. Card number four. What do I need to make time for this month? Reflect. Reflect on how far you've come. Have you come full circle? Where, how has your journey been? Are you keeping are you are you keeping up with it in a journal? Are are you making daily notations? Or do you have a gratitude journal? Today I'm grateful for blah blah blah. And then you, you go along in time and you look back to where you were say 5 years ago and where you are today and all those things that you were grateful for that led up to where you are today. So really um, make time to go back and reflect on that and to realize how far you really have come and how things are so much better now than they were even five years ago all right and then card number five what opportunity should i seize this month well this card kind of threw me off not gonna lie because it's about basically having too much shit on your plate but the positive aspect of this card is he's got a lot of shit on his plate and he's balancing it he's he's doing it he's got this so when you have the opportunity to balance out your stuff organize your chaos take advantage of that yeah you may have a lot of stuff that you're dealing with and you may feel very stretched out remember to take care of yourself and and you can do things in little bits here and there and balance things out organize it organize it so so that's really 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 going to be important this month all right don't fall into the traps of other people's bullshit because you could come out looking like a monster reflect on where you were five years ago and where you are now and think of all the things that you have great you were grateful for along the way. If you haven't already started your gratitude journal, I do highly suggest doing that. That is so good. Because you have so much on your plate right now, sometimes it's hard to remember what you're actually grateful for because you're so freaking stressed. But you got this. You can organize, you can balance. You're very good at that kind of stuff anyway. So, um, but yeah, keep a journal, keep things balanced, make sure you include yourself, your health, take a nap, get some rest, and do things, each project or each situation that you're dealing with, only address a little bit at a time. Don't stress yourself out about it, okay? Because honestly, most of the stuff you're dealing with really isn't even your stuff. So, you know... You take on a lot of other people's problems and, and things like that. It's time to start taking care of yourself. All right. I hope that this message has resonated with you and will help lead you and guide you throughout the month of May. If you do feel like it has helped and that it will benefit others, please feel free to share my video. And if you would like a more personal and in-depth reading, you can go over to my website at www.conjurenits.com. Click on the link at the top of the page that says book a reading and I will talk to you soon. Alright guys, see you soon. Love you bunches. Bye bye.